Wowie Kazowie, George Clooney will produce Buck Rogers TV series. May star in the show. Uh, this according to Superhero Hype. So, uh, yeah, uh, Legendary Entertainment revealed plans to revive pulp sci-fi hero Buck Rogers in the new TV series. And then uh, Hollywood Reporter weighed in on it and said George Clooney is uh, joined this as an executive producer. Uh, then they note that the project is being developed as a potential starring vehicle for Clooney. Oh, well. Uh, so, could he play Buck Rogers? I mean, <laughs> now... Uh, traditionally, he's uh, too old to play the part. I doubt that they would uh, de-age him for a TV series unless they're only going to do like four episodes <laughs> a season. <laughs> uh, it's kind of expensive to do. Uh, maybe he'll uh, be, uh, well, what's his name, Dr. Uh, Hewer, and uh, something like that and uh, playing in there. But, of course, uh, uh, there was the original uh, whether well, there was a, a movie serial series uh, played uh, by, uh, oh man, what was his name? Bud something. <laughs> Damn it! Why am I blanking on this guy? Uh, you know, he he was he was the original Flash Gordon too, which is interesting because Flash Gordon is somewhat of a knockoff of Buck Rogers. Flash Gordon um, was done by the uh, for the comic strip purposes uh, to be a, a, a competitor to Buck Rogers. Um, but originally they were going to go with John Carter of Mars, but Edgar Rice Burroughs uh, wanted too much money or what have you, so they just went to Alexander Raymond. To, Can you just make up your own sci-fi hero? And that's what he did. And then Flash Gordon, actually, I think in a lot of ways, eclipsed uh, B uh, Buck Rogers. Uh, but that's what it was. Buck Rogers was first. It was a, a Pulp Fiction story that it got, uh, you know, uh, became a comic strip. And... Um, and later on, the, the movie serial. And uh, there was, uh, the, of course, the TV series with Gil Gerard. Now, <laughs> I remember watching that, but uh, even then I thought, wow, this isn't very good. <laughs> it had some cool things to it. Of course, the women were all extremely gorgeous. So, yeah, it's great stuff. <laughs> uh, but uh they altered the story where he was an astronaut who got frozen and uh, woke up in the 25th century uh, uh the original story i think uh or at least it, i think there's been a couple of different versions of it but that he was uh in a a, a hot air balloon and fell asleep <laughs> i guess it just floated in the sky for a couple of hundred years <laughs> and he's in this futuristic world you know uh but uh, certain characters remained, uh, you know, uh, Wilma Daring as the main uh, girlfriend for Buck Rogers and all that still there. And, uh, and you're off to the races with the story. But the, uh, the, the, the 1979 series uh, just had a lot of cheese about it. Um, I know a lot of people liked The Little Robot, but uh, to me that uh, got old very fast. <laughs> but... But anyway, it's funny because uh, the, the way the, the sets looked and everything, I kind of thought if they had gone forward with the uh, the new Star Trek series at the time before they did the motion picture, there was plans for uh, what was going to be called Star Trek Phase 2. Uh, and that was, you know, Leonard Nimoy didn't want to do it, so they had to invent a new Vulcan character. It, it was pretty much underway. They had had some test shots of them in costume and uh, some sets built. And I kind of thought, boy, it kind of looks like the Buck Rogers set. It, it, would, it, would it have been like that? <laughs> Cause, whew, that was bad. <laughs> I, I dump on Space 1999 for a time or two because some of the concepts I think are, are rather foolish. But it's a far superior show to uh, Buck Rogers. And uh, it actually has some very good episodes in it. Uh, but Buck Rogers, you know, it was it was done for fun, and uh, there's there's fun in it, and there's some cool stuff. I mean, uh, the ship design, for instance, is pretty good. It's very good, and all of that. So, you know, but I uh, think this will be very different uh, with Clooney's involvement. But uh, as far as him playing Buck, uh, if he does, then it will be a very different uh, take and concept on it. Um, but I, I don't. I, I'm rather dubious that he'll be playing uh, uh, Buck Rogers himself, and uh, he might have somewhat of a limited role in it. 
uh, but would certainly, it's possible, yeah, that he would be in it. But he is the executive producer, so uh, it looks like it, there's always rumors about shows in development and whatnot. Uh, this looks like one that's definitely going to happen. Uh, it's been sitting around. There's been several attempts at Flash Gordon. The last one was a god-awful sci-fi series, which was really terrible. Uh, I would I'd really love to see a Flash Gordon series. Uh, but... Uh, uh, but we're going to get Buck Rogers, and uh, it, you know, it's a, it's got just for the purposes of fun and adventure, it's got great uh, uh, templates there within its story that uh, could be a very fun show. So, best of luck to Buck. Thanks for watching and listening. Say, while you're still here, why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends? Yes. Also, check out my many stores <laughs> in the link description below. Yes, where you can get t-shirts, hats, mugs, all those goodies with my artwork on them. Oh, yeah. And head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You can also catch me at my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, on RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on BitChute.com and now on Rumble.com. Oh, my goodness. So many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh, yeah. And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson.